All right, week number two in the NFL kicks off tonight with Cincinnati visiting Cleveland. The Cleveland Browns are six point favorites at home. Cincinnati 9 and 2 against the spread versus Cleveland in their past 11. Cleveland 6 and 0 straight up past 6 years when favored by 6 or more points. I like Cincinnati in this one. I think Joe Burrow that was a decent start last week. He didn't get the win like I thought he would in his in his uh opener, but not many uh rookie quarterbacks get that first win of their career in week 1 anyways. I think they bounce back. Cleveland I'm still undecided on how good they're going to be. I still feel they're around a 7 and 9, 8 and 8 team this year. I think Cincinnati goes in and continues to dominate against Cleveland this week tonight as well. Next on the list, Atlanta in Dallas. Dallas four and a half point home favorites. Atlanta 5 and 0 straight up and against the spread in week 2 of the season. Three receivers went for over 100 yards last week in week one of the season. So Atlanta, watch out. Dallas's question marks are their secondary. This could be an extremely high scoring game. I think both teams in the 50s possibly. I don't know if it'll be that crazy, but we had one of them games last year or the year before. The Cowboys on the flip side are 7-3 against the spread and 9-1 straight up when favored by a touchdown or more. And they are favored by four and a half in this one so what will happen i think atlanta covers the spread but dallas still gets the home win in this game i don't see the cowboys starting 0-2 i think they're a much better team than that as much as that pains me to say buffalo into miami bills five and a half point road favorites are four and two against spread and five and one straight up versus miami under mcdermott as their head coach they got the job done last week. I think they'll get the job done this week. Miami, 0-6 straight up, 0-6 against spread in September in their last six. Do I really need to say more about Miami or the Jets, really, this year? Buffalo should win and cover the spread easily, in my opinion. Carolina on the road for TB in TB. Tom Brady, Tampa Bay, 8.5 point favorites over the Panthers. But fun fact in this game, Panthers quarterback Teddy Bridgewater is the career all-time career leader in win percentage against the spread as he is 20 and 8 all-time against the spread so far early in his career mind you well early but he's been with a lot of teams a few starts here a few starts there ever since his leg injury in minnesota where he looked like he was going to be a very good quarterback brady is 3 10 and 1 agreeing against the spread in the first month of the season. I think the woes continue for Brady and the Bucks until they get more familiar with each other. I'm not going to hate on Brady because I still think he's a great quarterback. But like I said last week, Tampa and Brady, COVID situation, no, no training camp, no preseason, no time for them to gel and get together. It's going to take them at least four or six weeks before they get things underway. Unfortunately, I think they're going to start 0-2 this year. And I think that Car Carolina will get the win straight up, let alone cover the 8.5 points. Denver at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, 7.5 point home favorites. Denver has lost six straight September games, while Pittsburgh is 9-5 against the spread at home when favored by six or more. Seven and a half points puts them in that ballpark. I like Pittsburgh to win this game, but I like the Broncos to keep it tighter than a touchdown and cover the spread. Detroit at Green Bay. Green Bay, six-point home favorites. Detroit, however, is 6-0 against the spread versus Green Bay and 4-2 and straight up in their last six meetings. Green Bay on the flip side, 13-6 against the spread in September at home and 16-2-1 straight up in that same time span. Green Bay, I think they go away in this game. I think they blow the Lions out. It's finally start going to start to turn where the Lions aren't winning more often than the Packers are. I, I think Rodgers and his crew get it done this week and quite handily. I like Green Bay to win by at least 10 points in this one this week myself. Jacksonville at Tennessee. Jags were last in rushing DVOA last year. Gave up 4.4 yards per carry in week one. They're 0-6 straight up and 1-5 against the spread versus Tennessee when they're in Tennessee or Nashville where those games get played. Titans, like I said, eight and a half point favorites. Derrick Henry, 
arguably the number one back. Christian McCaffrey would get a lot of votes on that because of his passing, pass catching ability, sorry. The Titans are also number one red zone offense last year. I think the Titans' strength against Jacksonville's weakness, I, I think Tennessee gets it done and rolls them by another 10 points. I like the Titans to take care of business in this game and win in cover. LA Rams at Philadelphia. Sean McVay 6-1 straight up and against the spread in the Eastern time zone. 11-2 straight up and 9-4 against the spread in September. The Rams are under Sean McVay. Uh, Peterson and his Eagles have never won a Week 2 game under him yet in his tenor. And they have yet to cover a spread in Week 2 of the NFL season. But on the flip side, he's 2-0 against the spread and straight up versus the Rams under Sean McVay. Something's got to give this week. It's just a one-point game, Philly. Is, or the Rams, sorry, are one-point road favorites in Philly. This is a tough one for me. I keep flipping a coin because of all the Eagles injuries. And until they show me, they can overcome them. But I'm hearing they're getting multiple players back now as of today. I'll roll with the Eagles on the small spread just because they're my favorite team. So by all means, pick the Rams. If you're feeling the Rams will destroy them, I ain't going to argue with that pick at all. Like I said, I've been flipping a coin. I'm just picking the Eagles because they are my favorite team. And that's it. So go with your gut on this. Minnesota at Indy. The Vikings are plus three. They're 17 and six against the spread versus AFC teams. The Colts on the flip side are 5-1 straight up and against the spread at home versus the NFC. Rivers, however, the starting quarterback for the Colts this year has tossed 13 interceptions in his last eight games. Minnesota, they did get blown out by Green Bay. Both teams lost to Indy Blue that lead to Jacksonville, which I really don't like. They lost Marlon Mack, but they got the two good young running backs, Taylor and Hines. I or, yeah, Taylor and Hines. I know the young kid Taylor, but I can't remember the uh, the other young kid's name. I could be misspeaking there. Should be an interesting game. I like Minnesota. I think this will be a field goal. I'm going to go with Minnesota in this game to win and cover. I was going to say Minnesota cover and win, but I changed my mind. I like Minnesota straight up and the cover in this. Next, New York Giants, five and a half point road underdogs in Chicago. The Bears are nine to three against the spread at home in 2008, since 2018. Uh, the Giants 2-0 against the spread versus Chicago last two years. Saquon Barkley, two bad teams here. Well, Chicago, I'm Trubisky. I don't really trust him. The Nick Foles situation in Chicago, but Foles is a stand-up dude, and you won't have any locker room issues in Chicago. Five and a half points, I think, is a little much. I do like Chicago to win this game, but I see it more like a last-second field goal or something coming down to the end. So I'll take the Giants to cover the five and a half points. The Bears to win straight up. Next, San Francisco at the New York Jets. San Fran, two and ten straight up versus AFC since 2014. Mobile QB Murray really got them last week in their loss to Arizona. The New York Jets on the flip side, they have a very stationary quarterback, limited weapons. I think the 49ers will be able to win this game quite easily. I see this being a big blowout despite anything else. I, I just don't see the Jets being able to keep this one close. San Fran got a little funk the last time they visit the Eastern time zone with a big blowout win over the Jets. I can't remember the score. It was like 30-0, 34-0, whatever it was, something like that. I like San Fran to win this and cover the six and a half points. Washington football team at Arizona. Arizona, seven point home favorites. Murray was two, five, and one straight up at home last year. He did add DeAndre Hopkins. That offense. Look pretty good. I think the 49ers defense is solid and Murray's scrambling ability is really what got them out of trouble even though they didn't put a lot of points on the board last week. I like Arizona to win this game. I think Washington's youth and that pass rush should be able to keep it within a touchdown though. So I'll take Washington against the spread and Arizona to win the game. Baltimore at Houston. The Ravens, seven point favorites. Lamar Jackson, 9-2, straight up and against the spread on the road in his career to start so far. 
Houston is 2-6 and six against the spread at home last year. Not great stats there. They lost Hopkins, who I just mentioned, is in Arizona now. I like Baltimore to blow them out. I don't think this game is close. I see like a 42-20 to 20 score or something like that. Baltimore to win and cover. Lamar Jackson, the, the running attack that Baltimore has. I, I just love this team. Uh, Kansas City, another team that's fun to watch, one of the most fun to watch since 2015. They're 21-8-1 against the spread versus division rivals. They're 8-3-1 against the Chargers, against spread versus the Chargers, sorry. Chargers 1-11 straight up versus Kansas City. Kansas City 8.5 point favorites in LA. I don't think it matters. I think Mahomes and Hill and the boys... They go in and Kelsey and they get the job done and they roll like 42 to 10. I don't think this game's ever going to be close at all. New England plus four in Seattle. Cam Newton, good start with New England last week against a weak team. Uh, Jamal Adams and the Seattle defense held Atlanta to 3.43 yards per carry or yards per catch last week. Very impressing impressive stats um Pete Carroll in September is 12 and 4 against the spread and 15 and 1 straight up at home New England Cam Newton Bill Belichick they'll be ready for this game I like Seattle to win this by a field goal New England to cover the four point spread and yes let's get to the Monday nighter the last one New Orleans Saints in Las Vegas to play the Raiders the Saints and Breeze are five and a half point road favorites they're 7-4 against the spread versus AFC. Uh, could this be a possible letdown after the big hype with the Brady Breeze matchup last week where the Saints came out victorious traveling to a good young Raiders team who kept most of the pieces together and added some good young talent around them in the draft and whatnot this year. Derek Carr, he seems to be all right week one. I know a small sample, an extremely small sample size, but hey, we're only at week two, so that's all I have right now. I like the Raiders to keep this game close as possible upset alert. I, I think the Raiders could win this game outright, but I like them to cover the spread and I'm picking the Saints to win the game. I think this game will be close because of a letdown and because of Vegas' speed all around the field. That's my week two NFL picks. Dag Swag coming soon. Peace.